Now, you would agree that there was negative publicity about Mr. Depp being publicly drunk before the op-ed, correct? There was, I agree with the proposition that there was negative publicity before the op-ed. The op-ed was something different. And you agree, in 2014, there was an article in The Guardian that said, apparently drunk Johnny Depp cut off at Hollywood Film Award Ceremony. Would you agree with that? Again, I don't remember reading The Guardian, and I don't remember that particular incident, but I'll take you at your word. And you remember in looking through all the documents that you saw an article that Johnny Depp allegedly showed up drunk to movie premiere, reports say, right? That was in 2017. I think I've testified that there is certainly Johnny Depp behavior and negativity out there, yes. And that a family production studio like Disney wouldn't want to be associated with, correct? Again, you're talking about a very specific, you know, series of five films that earn billions of dollars, and there is a line in Hollywood, as I've said, they'll put up with divas and drugs to make money, but now we've drawn a line in Hollywood at the domestic and sexual abuse. And in looking through the documents, you saw articles in June of 2018 that said, vodka for breakfast, 72-hour drug binges, and spending sprees that beggar belief. You saw that? Again, I know these articles exist. I know they're not in the Washington Post. I don't know what article you're referring to, who wrote it, you know, what publication it was in, but I know that those articles exist. And you'd agree that before the op-ed, Mr. Depp had a run of movie flops, wouldn't you agree? Every actor has, you know, ups and downs. Mr. Depp, his career has been decades long. You would agree that in January of 2015, there was an article that said Johnny Depp is on his way to becoming the most overpaid actor in Hollywood. Again, you'd have to show me the article, but I don't doubt that some commentator trying to trade on being a smarty pants wrote that. And you'd agree that there was another article in 2015 that says, quote, has Johnny Depp become Hollywood's biggest joke? I don't know. Netflix has a whole festival going now. Netflix is a joke. And you'd agree that there is an article in Business Insider from 2015 that says Johnny Depp has his fifth box office bomb in a row. If that's what it said, it said. Are you just going to keep reading this? Well, I mean, this is Mr. Depp's reputation. That's what you're talking about in terms of in terms of Hollywood, correct? And in 2016, December of 2016, there's a quote. There's an article that says, quote, Johnny Depp is Hollywood's most overpaid actor for the second year in a row. Did you recall reading that? And was that written by the second underpaid actor? And you would agree that before the op-ed, there was a negative publicity for Mr. Depp about assassinating President Trump. Would you agree? No, I missed that one. You didn't see an article in The New York Times that said Johnny Depp flirts with idea of Trump assassination, then apologizes? Again, Johnny Depp talks with irony and panache. And I don't particularly remember that. I have a lot of stuff in front of me. Disney wouldn't want to be Disney wouldn't want to be involved with somebody who's calling for the assassination of the president, would it? I'm sure after those articles, Johnny Depp was involved in major studio project. Do you know one way or the other whether Mr. Depp was involved in major studio projects after June 23rd, 2017? I think, again, I haven't quoted his IMDb page to memory, but he was in an animated film called Sherlock Gnomes. I think it was released. Paramount is one of the producers. I think it was released in 2017. User in those years. There was also the other side of the coin. But the op-ed that didn't mention Mr. Depp at all and didn't mention any accusations that what happened to her. That's what caused Mr. Depp reputational. All his reputational harm. That's what you're saying. Well, I don't agree that this article was not about. Did it mention Mr. Depp? That's what I asked you. 
Uh, well, did you, does she have another husband who abused her? But in did 2016? it talk about? Did it talk at all about Mr. Depp's abuse? Objection, Your Honor. He's tried to answer the first question, which was not exactly what the second question was that he re-asked. He had asked to be permitted just, to just ask, you, you ask your question. We'll go for that. 